Greetings everyone, this is Doze. Right now, we're gonna talk about the Austin Stealth and some demos. <laughs> Welcome, if you're new, please subscribe. Uh, right now about this Stealth, it's pretty late at night right now as you can tell. Um, I have it just a little bit, this is the one right here. So I have it really close, I mean not that close, but just pointing it towards me, like the video that I showed before, I think that this microphone sounds pretty good, more like a broadcasting type of microphone. I have, I believe I have like four different modes. It has the V1, that is this one right here. It has the V2, and also has another mode that is called G and a D. I'm gonna go all the different modes and why I'm actually looking here is because the microphone's here. Overall, you can hear what is my surround sound. Uh, today, I don't have my panels on the side. I just left them. I just wanted to be a little more raw about it. And if you're wondering about this headphones, those are the Sennheiser HD 300s. I like these ones a lot because they're really comfortable and I can listen to everything really well. So and for a long time, for 30, 40 minutes, it's, it's okay. Right now, this is the first mode that is the V1. And right now I'm gonna go to the second mode that is the V2. Okay, so I already figured out what the little switch does on the bottom. I've been always wondering what the little switch does, but when you press it, this is actually the V2 mode already. So when you press this, uh, little switch that is in the bottom that I showed my previous videos before about it. It mostly just unlocks the switchable on the side so it ha you can go through different modes to lock it. When I did my previous video um, I didn't really knew what was the little switch for but now I know that when you press it it unlocks the gauge so you have you can go through the different modes. For some reason they did a little lock so you can switch on different modes on the microphone. This is uh, the V2 mode right here. So right now we're going to go on the third mode that is the G mode. And this is the G mode position right now. Uh, it's, it doesn't, I don't know if it sounds a little bit more clear than the other ones. This mode can also work on it and I don't need a a lot on this. I just put it on the on the stand. I just need it to be on the right position of it. And let's go to the next one. This is the D mode right here. I don't really listen or, or hear a lot of difference on the modes. I must to tell you the truth. Just a little bit sunny of a sound. I mean, one 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 one. Let me do that in all different modes. So this is the D mode. This is the G mode. Okay, okay, now I can listen when I get more closer. This is the V2 mode. Oh, there we go. You listen a little bit much more closer. Sounds more, more personal wise. Let's go to the B1. This is the B mode one, the regular one. This doesn't sound bad, but mostly this microphone is focused if you are really near like this and all the positions about it. So, you guys, let me know what you guys think. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe. And bang the bell button. And also, comment below. That will help a lot of the algorithm in YouTube. So, um, and until next one, bye.